How's it going guys? Skylax here to bring you guys another video on War Commander Rogue Assault. And in today's video, I want to talk about how upgrading defenses um, at the uh, very end game right now, that is CC11 and CC12 gameplay, I want to talk about why upgrading defenses is basically completely useless. And it's the Raven, basically. Actually, I, I hardly even need to talk about anything. I just need to, uh, you know, I just need to show you guys evidence. And this is evidence right here. This is actually the one of the best working bases that I've built in a long time. All CC10 defenses. I haven't really had a whole lot of chances to upgrade. Uh, all the turrets are CC10 platforms and CC10 turrets. But uh, let's just let's just see what happens, cause um, even though my defenses are kind of weak for uh, what we can still call the end game right now, this is kind of ridiculous. And also, uh, interestingly, KaiXi decided to change the uh, look of the play button on the bottom uh, the bottom right side of the screen, but they didn't fix the bug where well I don't think it's a bug, but it's definitely a design flaw where if you change the speed It automatically starts playing so if you want to change pause uh, the gameplay change the speed and then play uh, You actually can't do that and it actually does mess up uh, what you want to see in slow-mo so yeah, interesting, interesting uh, choices by KaiXi on what they want to focus on. Interesting priorities. <laughs> we've so many things uh, have been graphically reworked and we've got new units coming out all the time, but they just cannot see small problems like that that actually do affect our gameplay. So um, let's move on to what happens in this, uh, in this replay. Okay, so what you guys just saw was, uh, I believe this Carnage guy is from Dom, so I, I assume these are maxed or near maxed Ravens. So what you guys just saw, um, this guy called in two Ravens, I think one centered over here between my War Factory and my Heavy Flak, and then one centered somewhere around here, closer to the Heavy Flak, but also a little bit uh, leaning towards the side of the Barracks. And he took out my level 11 War Factory, my level 3 Heavy Flak on a level 5 Heavy Platform, and my level 10 Barracks all at once. He destroyed the Transformer for this Peacemaker, almost destroyed it. He destroyed this Solo Boosted Salvo completely. Uh, he almost takes down this Solo Boosted Salvo, and then he destroys the Transformer for this Solo Boosted Salvo which basically renders it useless. All of three, uh, all three turrets over here took heavy damage. Uh, they're pretty much paper turrets now. They'll die to any kind of damage. And yeah, I mean, he's running Valkyrie, a Valkyrie and six Reavers, but even if he was just running literally anything else uh, that unlocks at CC 10 and above, he could not lose. I mean, there's... There's nothing I this base can do. There's no uh, dumb way left for him to attack that's going to cause him to lose, even if he was using, I don't know, Grizzlies or uh, I don't know, even Hymars, maybe. If he has Mantis on the side, he's going to be able to succeed. Uh, maybe, maybe he'll have to find a way to deal with the FOB units, but uh, even then... Um, because what he can do next, his ravens almost didn't take any damage whatsoever. So he can just call in these two over and over and over again. Because after what he destroyed, there's nothing that can do damage to it anyways. And take out all my defenses. And then whatever, um, whatever buildings uh, that are left over that he literally did not have enough... Uh, Raven deployments to destroy, which would be like the metal factories on the side. He can call in units... To destroy those 
It's basically the Ravens. Uh, if you, you you don't have to always do that, but if you have a maxed out against basically any base, you you can let them do ninety percent of the work. You don't have to, but if you wanted to, you can let that happen. And yeah, this is this is the reality of <laughs> defense at the end game. So yeah, at this point. I mean, I don't have a single CC11 turret. I don't have a single level 11 platform. The best turret turrets I have are these Salvo 9s, and they cost, what, 20, 30 million thorium and 25 million metal. The CC11 turrets, things like the Howitzer 11 or PM7, those cost 175 million metal and 150 or 145 million thorium. So I'm just wondering what even is the point? I mean, even if all of my turrets were CC11 and all of my platforms were level 11 or even level 12, how 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 would I be able to change this? I mean, I could upgrade my command center to CC12, get a second heavy platform, but even then, I I only increase my odds ever so slightly. Uh, the people who um, hit me multiple times are still going to beat my base. There's just nothing that you can do. So I'm just wondering what even is the point of playing defense if we're going to have uh, stuff like this. So yeah, um, I mean the point of this video is if you're considering investing a lot of stuff at def um, in defense upgrades and you're an endgame player, you're CC11 or above, um, I, I, uh, recommend that you just forget about that completely and just try to keep your player level low so that when you do get beat, which is basically going to be an, uh, every time you get hit at this point, um, at least by, um, by the stronger enemies, when you do get beat, uh, if your player level is lower, you lose less resources. Um, but as far as actually winning on defense, I mean, if you, if you think you have a way to stop this, I mean, go for it, but I highly doubt it. Uh, so yeah, this is just a little bit, um, kind of a random video that I made, uh, to try and help you guys just kind of warn you guys a little bit about what happens uh, what, or what is happening right now. I don't know how long this is going to last. I mean, maybe the Skimtar is going to be game-changing, but that's going to require another new building. And you, you don't even... If it requires CC12, that's going to be crazy. But, yeah, I don't even know how accessible that uh, that's going to be. The Raven is very accessible, and a lot of the units that have been pretty overpowered before the Raven are also very accessible. Uh, the de the defense upgrades, on the other hand, are insanely expensive, and I don't I have like a decent set of endgame units, but I don't have the megas. But I have completely maxed reavers and all the elite for the old units, and I I still don't even have a single CC11 defense because they're just so so much harder to save up for. Those are the costs right there. There are some cheaper ones. But yeah, basically the point of this video is it's a bit of a rant, but it's more than anything um, a warning that if you are planning to invest to invest in CC11 uh, or higher level defense upgrades, uh, it might not be worth your money, and uh, just just be very careful because you're going up against what I uh, what I just showed you guys, which. I just, I cannot think of a way to deal with. So yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found, uh, you learned something useful in this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.